How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys would give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it big time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Here's how you can feature the channel. You can request your favorite cart, track, character, or cup in the game in the comments below. Last time, we did the Shell Cup. No one voted who I should use for the Banana Cup. I, I guess I'll just play as Wario. And I'll use the Flame Flyer. And we'll play on automatic. All right, let me know down in the comments below what character and cart don't make use for the Leaf Cup. I would love to know. Here we go to the Banana Cup. These tracks are really awesome tracks. The first track of the Banana Cup is N64 Sherbet Land. I like this track a lot. This track's pretty awesome. It's an ice track. I love ice tracks in Mario Kart games. They're pretty fun to play. Three, two, one, skadoosh! You have to be really careful on this track because this track is, is a little bit slippery. It's not a difficult track by any means. It's just, it's just slippery and you just have to be careful about it. Here's a technique you can do. If you, um, if you're sliding, turn the Wii remote in the opposite direction to correct your slide. That's what you do if you're about to slip. It's not that hard. I, the only bad memories I have with this track is that when I was a kid, I used to have a lot of trouble with it. Because when you turn sharply, sometimes your steering will slide. Not in the cave so much. It's so much when you're on this ice part. And when it turns, Excuse me. See, I turned in the opposite direction and cracked my slide. I did that on purpose so I could show you how to do it. Just in case you're just watching this playthrough for some reason as a guide. I got it one more time. Catch my slide. See? It's literally that simple. You just very quickly turn the Wii Remote to the opposite direction, whatever direction you was originally turning to when you, t when you slide, slid in that turn. Wait until the turn's done and then turn it back the opposite direction. That's how you correct your slide. <laughs> it's not that hard. Just as long as you know how to turn the Wii remote in the opposite direction of whatever direction you previously turned it, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this track. Then this track should be pretty easy overall. Okay. They don't have to worry about it so much in the cave part. It's just the ice part. We're doing really good on this track. I'm not too surprised I'm doing good on it because I am pretty good at this track nowadays. Yeah. All right, we're doing really good. We're doing really good. All right, ready for this last sharp turn? Sharp turn, catch the slide. That's all I have to do. 
very, very simple. All right, we finished the first race of the Banana Cup. Here we go, next track, here we go. GBA Shy Guy Beach. I remember this track from Mario Kart Super Circuit when I used to play Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance. I never really played it a whole, whole lot, but I do remember this track. This is a pretty cool track. I love beach tracks in Mario Kart games. So this one is pretty cool. This one's a really easy track, by the way. Really, the only difficult part is that you have to watch out for the cannonballs that come from that airship over there. But, nothing really too hard. Pretty easy overall. I guess the hardest Banana Cup track might be the very first track of the Banana Cup, but even it's not hard. Thank you for the triple banana. That's what I wanted. Until the power block took it away, sadly. Ugh. Oh, I need to catch up. Let me catch back up to first. There's just so many obstacles going on. Ow! You need to throw a shell at me. Do not give me that cloud. Gosh. Ugh. Thankfully, we just have one more lap left. But they're throwing lots of items at me. waves you see in the distance. Those are pretty cool looking. No! And another? Why? I'm trying to get first place. I guess you guys really want to beat me. Oh, I just clutched it. I clutched it again. Kind of like I did for that one track in the special cup. All right, here we go. DS Delfino Square. I love this track. This track reminds me a lot of Super Mario Sunshine. And Super Mario Sunshine was a really, really good game. I really enjoyed that game so much. It was so acrobatic, like Flood added a lot to that game when it came to like speed running or when it came to just exploring around levels. Super Mario Sunshine was a lot of fun. And this was one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart DS as well. Excuse me, and I'm glad it's a retro track in Mario Kart Wii. Nothing really too difficult about this track. It's a pretty easy track. There's a different pathways you can take on certain parts, and that's it. 
Uh, nothing really to it. It's a pretty basic track overall. Wee! You get you get to see the statue of the Pianto right there. Delfino Plaza was the hub world of Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine was really fun in my opinion. It was actually a pretty difficult game. Like it really was. Look at the water. The water looks gorgeous on this track. I think this track looks better on the Wii than what it did on the DS. Because at least the Wii has better graphics on the DS um, did. We're doing really good. Just one more lap left of this track, and then we have a really fun track coming next, which is a track that's one of my favorites. I can't wait to play it. No! No blue shell! The blue shell is a big no-no for me. With the worst item ever. It can literally stop. It could literally stop the first player from being in first place. We're doing really good. No! I wanted to have the power up, the items I can throw, and they're throwing me items. All right, just one more track to go until we'll be done with the banana cup. It's raining outside too. It's not been raining for that many more days for the last few weeks. But I'm glad we're getting some rain today because we've been needing it. GCN Waluigi Stadium! Probably my favorite track of the Banana Cup. This track is epic. It's a dirt race track too. I love dirt race tracks in Mario Kart games. Skadoosh! Listen to the music. It's so epic. I'm glad this track made it to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. There's not really a whole lot you have to watch out for on this track. This track is pretty easy for the most part. Just watch out for the piranha plants and the fire bars, really, and you should be good to go. It's not really a difficult track by any means. It's pretty easy, actually. Some turns are kind of sharp, but they're not too hard to turn. At least it's not slippery. Not like the first track in the Banana Cup was. Because we know how slippery that track was. But I'm pretty good with, with slippery levels and games. And I'm pretty good with slippery tracks in Mario Kart. Because I know how to turn my steering wheel in the opposite direction of what direction I turned in to make it slide. That's probably how so many people have trouble with that 
sherbet land track is they don't know how to correct it if they accidentally make their cart to slide. We're doing good. This track is a... Anytime I think of this track, it reminds me of any NASCAR dirt race. I've never really watched NASCAR all that much. No! No! You... Wow. I guess they're really wanting to beat me, but I don't think it, I don't think they're gonna beat me. Ugh. There's no way you can protect yourself from the items unless you have some kind of item protection yourself. It's not going to be that clutch like it was on, on the second track of this cup. Excuse me. Alright, we're right at the end. No! It, you just happened to do that! Why? I didn't even do anything! I had to finish second on that track. I won it first. We still did very good. We still got 57 points. Enjoy the award ceremony. We did good. Rank A is good enough. Alright, we unlocked the Leaf Cup. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell for notified every time I make new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.